now police are asking for your help to find 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham. Here are three things we know about her disappearance right now. First, Audrey was last seen on Thursday morning when she was dropped off at the bus stop before school, but she never made it onto the bus. Investigators also think that this blue, dark 2003 Chevy Suburban is involved in her disappearance. And that car belongs to this man, 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougall, who was identified as a person of interest. He was arrested on Friday. For and it has been nearly 24 hours since anyone has seen 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham. Take a good look at your screen right now. She was last seen wearing a black hoodie with white lettering and black pants on Lakeside Drive in Livingston. She also had a camel backpack. If you have seen Audrey or know where she is, please call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Audrey Cunningham was born February 5, 2013, in Livingston, Texas, to Cassie Matthews and Joshua Lee Cunningham. Audrey was a beautiful 11-year-old that had her whole future ahead of her. She loved to dance, sing, and loved to create art and paint. Audrey lived with her grandparents, her father, and some other family members. She attended Creekside Elementary School and was stated to be an outstanding student. Everyone loved Audrey, so when she didn't show up to school on February 15th, 2024, there were questions. So what happened to Audrey Cunningham? Audrey lived with her grandparents and father. The morning Audrey disappeared, a family friend, Don Stephen McDougall, offered to take Audrey to her bus stop around 7 a.m. McDougall was living on the property in a camper. For whatever reason, the family trusted him to get Audrey to the bus stop. When Audrey didn't come home at 5.30 p.m., the family reported her missing. The grandparents and Audrey's father was keeping Cassie, Audrey's mother, from seeing her. There is no known reasons right now as to why, but Cassie actually had an interview with Nancy Grace about this issue. Had they been blocking you seeing Audrey? I, I haven't had any type of contact. Um, I had the last bit of contact that I I had with Josh where I was once again begging to see my daughter um, in any way that made him or her comfortable, uh, whatever I needed to do. I had to do that through my fiance's messenger. So the grandma shows up at your fiance's mom's place looking for Audrey. Then your fiance's mom has her call you. And what did she say? She, um, tells me that she's missing. She didn't make it home off the bus. Um, asked me if I had seen her, which that's a crazy question because you haven't allowed me to see her in so long. How in the hay do you believe this happened, Miss Matthews? I, I don't understand um, how it happened at all. I don't understand how they put so much effort into keeping her from me, but they couldn't put the same effort into knowing the people that they had around her. Upon this interview, it was learned that Don Stephen McDougal actually texted Cassie, offering her for her to see Audrey. Between and about the messages between Stephen and I from the night before, and they were asking me if yes, I, now, you Yes, know, now, that's very curious, Cassie because I find those text messages that McDougal sent you very, very incriminating for him because he is playing on your emotions. He knows how much you want to see Audrey. So basically, Cassie, McDougal is using your daughter as bait to lure you down to the river where her body was later found. Why um, is he doing that? And it, claiming he was going to keep it secret from her dad. What, what was he, what was his game? Well, uh, when he first approached me, um, and, and 
see when I say approached me, um, it was all through Facebook messenger. I've never had his number or anything like that, but he had said that, um, he was Audrey's babysitter, which was instant red flag. I didn't understand. Um, but he had said that he wasn't going to pick parents sides that he was concerned about what Audrey wanted and how she felt and that he thought it was wrong for her to be, um, kept from me if she wanted to know me so he played on the fact that I I was desperate for anything I wanted pictures I wanted I just anything uh that had to do with my daughter and for a minute I could have believed that but then I thought more into it and I just knew something was wrong and I had been speaking to my family about it I'd been telling my my fiance told me from the jump not to associate with him in any way do not but he doesn't understand how I was feeling when I just, I, I was craving something, something of my daughter. Um, Did you have any idea this freak was your daughter's babysitter? Not until he had messaged me and uh, I had tried to contact Josh uh, wondering what the f is going on. And um, I asked my family over and over again if they could try to contact and they tried to get no answer i wanted to know why a man that nobody knows is being left with my 11 year old daughter i mean he he could have chose anyone else under the sun and it would have been okay uh but when he invited me down to go fishing to see my daughter um well for one i i knew better uh but at this point knowing what i know now i feel like he did something to audrey wednesday before he even messaged me and that if I would have went, um, he would have what gotten rid of me as well. And then it would have been chalked up to, I kidnapped my daughter and I ran with her and people would have forever been looking for two people that don't exist. Upon this interview, it is learned that Don Stephen McDougal actually texted Cassie offering for her to see Audrey and go fishing the night before Audrey went missing. This raises suspicions now where Audrey is missing. Was McDougal going to possibly hurt Cassie, kill her, dispose of her, and then blame it on a kidnapping? This is a possible theory that it was a setup. After Audrey was reported missing, officers searched Cassie's home Investigators then interrogated Cassie, her fiancé, and roommate for 16 hours. So it seems they tried to make Cassie a prime suspect. Cassie was cleared of this. Tuesday, February 19th, Audrey Cunningham was found in Trinity River. Her pants were found on the bank of the river. Audrey had suffered blunt force head trauma and was found tied and weighed down in the river waters. There is also the possibility of essay as well. McDougal was arrested Friday, February 23rd, on an unrelated charge of aggravated assault. But he was a person of interest also, seeing as he was the last to see Audrey. Witnesses also tied McDougal's vehicle to the day Audrey went missing. I think law enforcement have the right guy. McDougal has a shady past and the one being the last to see Audrey. Her never making it to the bus stop and the suspicious text he sent to Cassie. There are reports that McDougal could have possibly already been molesting Audrey. They, he lived on the property with the family and he was a family friend. So this is an unfortunate possibility. Let's keep Audrey's family and mom in our prayers. And may sweet little Audrey and her spirit Rest in peace.